What's up everybody? It's Ryan from RB Reptiles. Back from a little bit of a break again. I'm sorry I'm not been posting much, but you know, things are kind of crazy around here. And uh doing my best. Today, today is a huge day. Today we're cutting a clutch of double head lavender albino tri-stripe to double head lavender albino tri-stripe. And I really need this one to hit. I've been going on some really long odds this year and uh, not really been working out in my favor but fingers crossed today we get some phenomenal odds obviously I want as many double visuals as possible but um, man if I could get a double visual mail that would really skyrocket this project to the next level so uh, wish me luck guys um, the odds on this is 1 in 16 for the double visual I have six eggs in this clutch and also in another clutch that's in the incubator I have five eggs that'll be uh, in about a month they'll be ready so a bunch of possibilities um, cool thing about this is since it's double head to double head it really shrinks down the odds on hitting at least a visual of one of them so instead of it being one in four you're like one in three so not a lot of people know that but the more hets you have involved in the pairing the more likely it is for you to hit any like if you don't have a specific gene in mind any of them the odds drop below what you normally expect so anyway uh, here again by myself and I'm going to have to try to tilt you down so that you can see everything that's going on um, so bear with me but uh, yeah guys say a little prayer for me right now <laughs> boy do I need some luck here all right let's get into it boom, boom, boom. do one of them this is the hard part Making sure everything stays in frame. A little bit difficult when you're by yourself, but we're going to give it our best shot here. All right. So one of these guys pipped already, and I can see this guy it is not a lavender, and by the looks of the pattern that I can peep, not a tri straight. So, let's see what we got. We have a 66% double head. Very pretty. All right. Now we got the rest of them are mysteries, so Come on, good luck. I would show you the parents like normal, but they just look like normals because they're just double heads. But let's see what we got here. Ooh, check that out. We just hit our first tri stripe. That is friggin' phenomenal. I got these uh, babies from Ebby Built Constrictors, and he got, a, when he did this, his uh, initial pairings, he bought a visual lavender albino tri-stripe from TSK. So I was fairly confident they would prove out, but uh, you know, you never know until you get babies. So it's nice to see the tri-stripe prove out. First ever tri-stripe produced here. That's super exciting man that's cool I love the tri-stripe project ever since I saw the tri-stripe desert ghosts and tri-stripe ultramel oh man such beautiful potential come on see something cool oh we have another possible double hat Mm 
Another possible double hit. Okay. So it's like one in three to hit any random visual. So, so far we're on the odds. You know, I hope to at least uh, see a lavender in here to prove out that side of things. And also, you know, I'd love to see the double. We have another tri stripe. That's awesome. That is awesome. We don't have any visual tri stripes, so I'll take every one of them. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Two tri stripes, 66% hit lavender albino, and two 66% both. Let's see, come on. Let's go lavender tri straight. Let's see here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And it looks like another possible double hat. Which leads us with one egg left. One egg left. Come on, baby. Let's do it. What do you guys think? Comment down below right now. Don't cheat. What do you think? Think we're going to get it? Oh, man. Please, 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 please. Another possible double hit. So, yeah. It's definitely cool that we hit two tr uh, visual tri stripes, though. I'll take that all day. I mean, let me see if I can get rid of that. Look at that. Friggin' thing is gorgeous. All right, so there you have it, guys. Didn't hit labs, didn't hit doubles, but a couple real nice tri stripes. And there we go. And nope, oh, that's the wrong direction. And like I said, I got five more shots in the incubator. So, uh, not all hope is lost, <laughs> but I'll definitely keep you tuned in for that. I think the next clutch that is on deck is a possible head sunset to a, uh, what was that? Yeah, lesser pos head sunset. So um, this year I went really big on trying to get some long odds. So like, you know, if we were to hit one of them, it would really put us in a good position moving forward. Uh, you know, but when you're talking about 116, 132 is like crazy stuff like that. It's really tough to hit. That's why uh, people always say if you make them, keep them because you may not hit them again. <laughs> so don't sell them. Uh, and I don't plan to. So, but uh, some of this clutch will be available, I'm sure. I mean, I'm holding back way too much stuff, so it's definitely got to happen. Um, check out the morph market. I listed up um, some pygmy pythons. I listed up some northerns and some easterns. I even taken offers on uh, the melanistic. Now that I have a bunch of stuff outcrossed, I can only really keep like 25 adult skinks at the moment. So, you know, tough decisions have to be made. But reach out. Let me know if you want to do something. Make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe very close to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube only need like 97 more that would be awesome this is the 10th anniversary of R&B reptiles and I'd love to hit 10k on our 10th anniversary you know very close on Instagram as well only need like 900 more on Instagram a couple hundred on Facebook and we'll hit triple ten so help a brother out hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one if we hit sunsets I might go crazy <laughs> and I'll see you next time.